church. Without natural affection, don't have no compassion, don't care about for truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, that is violent, fierce, despises of those that are good, traitors, heady or rash, high minded, on an ego trip. Everything about them. You know what I'm saying? Give it under to the pastor. Reverend Doctor, so and so. They got their lip put out, ready to stand and correct them. You understand that? It ain't about us, but it's about Amen. God. Amen. We come with all the stock in them. Don't you do that before you call the preacher. Don't you call nobody else to pray. You know as though God has not given anybody anything but them. There's something the matter with that. Amen. I'm not trying to teach you how to call me to ask me to pray for you. I'm trying to teach you how to learn to pray for yourself. Amen. 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 In the house of God. It ain't about God, but it's about them. Yes, right. Testimony is not testifying to the goodness of God, but it's testifying to the goodness of man. Yes, right. We have to be careful that in all we acknowledge God. Yes. Recognize that it's all about God. Yes, right. Paul list these characteristics. Mm -hmm. What is significant about it is all of these characteristics are noticeable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're what you call salient characteristics. You can yeah. see them. You can recognize them. They, they're outstanding. You don't, you don't have to ask somebody uh -huh. if a family is on an ego trip. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. If somebody think too much of themselves, you don't have to ask nobody about it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's not something you can hide very easily. Uh -huh. You understand? You got the mirror. You looking in the mirror. Uh, pat yourself and dust it off. And you see a preacher time come to preach up there. Uh, got a hemorrhage ball on his fingernails. You understand? You, you, you know, you, those are not secret things. Those are not things that you got to ask somebody. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They self evident. When folk, false accusers and liars, because a lie, you understand once it's told, some lie will not make it just keep being retold. Y'all ain't saying that when folk talking about you. If they're saying good stuff about you, you can say it and that's far as it'll go. Uh, Amen. Nobody calls and says, oh, they call and say, sister, they went over there and took some food to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Amen. Nobody spreads the word right, right. when somebody says something good about them. Amen. When I have the restaurant, you tell folk all the time, it takes 10 folk to say something good about you for you to get one customer. Yeah. But one person can say something bad. Same way. Yeah. And when folk are that way, these are not secret things about them. Yeah. All these are characteristics. When folk don't care about nobody but themselves. Yeah. Folk around here buying Cadillacs for pastors and, and they get ready to trade them in seven years later and the back seat they know they sat on. Huh? Walking nobody around, not even the church. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we sit around and we saw them such a hell to get to church. Right. We forget to bring the folk who need church. Put so much emphasis on being the best dressed at church. Do we forget about those who can't dress at all? Yeah. 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 Thank you. So 
Bible when they say I come but I ain't got nothing to wear. What they're saying is I can't get the uniform that you have. Yeah. Right. I can't live up to your dress code. The most place they got a dress code will at least supply the uniform. All right. All right. All right. All right. Praise the Lord. Right. Show them when they come. Lord, Lord they come as you are. You know, you you about to choke with necklaces and chains and, and scarves and four piece, five piece suits on and trying to tell somebody, oh, just come knock your ass, sit right in the middle of us and we won't look at you. All right. Uh, Despise of those that are good. And I guess that's being envious, really, because I don't know how you can hate folk, uh, despise the fact that folk are doing what's right. Amen. But there are folk that are upset. Amen. Whenever your church starts to grow and your church starts to doing better, they all got negative stuff Amen. to say. Amen. You understand that. And, and this is why I'm encouraged to, to stay with God and yeah. to do what I know is right by God because it may not be the fastest to grow, but it ain't going to be the fastest to go easy. All right. All right. All right. All right. Praise God. Yeah. Sometimes I, I know some churches that were much bigger. Uh -huh. Amen. But the doors are locked. Amen. All right. All right. I know some places All right. that grew much faster, yeah. but they shrank just as fast. Understand, they ain't yours with God, don't send them to you. Incontentment, violent. All of these characteristics that he missed that are going to make it difficult for Christian service. That makes it difficult for Christian living. We live in a time when folk are more sympathetic with folk who are wrong. You know what I'm saying? Than they are with folk who are right. right. Folk siding with perpetrators instead of siding with the victims. Folk going along just to get along. Yeah. Right. He said that in the last days, perilous times will come. And that is to say, ain't no way around it. Right. For Jesus himself has said that uh, the time would come yeah. when men were going to try to put you to death <laughs> and think that they were doing God a service. Right. But he also said, fear none of them which can destroy the body, yeah. but in essence cannot destroy the soul. Oh no, but rather fear him who is able yeah. to destroy both the body yeah. and soul yeah. in hell. Yeah. He says, You shall be hated of all men. Yeah. That is those who are standing for right. That is those who are standing on the word of God. Yeah. Jesus said, You shall be hated of all men. Yeah. And the devil. We'll cast some of you into prison. Oh Lord. But be thou faithful unto death. And I'll give you a crown of life. That is, we not a death until the end. The same will be saved. For he said that these characteristics were all salient. Characteristics were all identifiable. Oh, Lord, 